Well, it's another rainy day down on the scrap farm. I guess we'll take the donkey to the vet and do some maintenance. It looks like the windshield's leaking again. I just saw a couple drops. Might have to re-silicone that bad boy. All right, let's go do some work. We got some pretty thin pads in there. This camera's better at, or this lens is better at, uh, up close. Yeah. They're pretty, they're pretty thin. <laughs> Let's see what the other side looks like. I didn't even look at this one yet. We got DMX in the background. Oh man, these pads are brand new. That sounds like you changing one side. One side, I definitely probably did. <laughs> there we go. We need some of those caliper hooks. We need to make some. A bungee cord. slippers. Wow. Those bring pads are stuck, boy. Jeez. Nah, man. I ain't done nothing with this thing. Run it till it dies, right? Wow! <laughs> Spins good. I think the rotor goes on it, like the S10. Yeah. No, the S10 is all one thing. Same as that. The S10 is all spindle. I don't know about full size. Full size might be different, might be just rotor. But the S10 is like all one thing. When you buy the rotor, you have to buy bearings and, yeah. and redo the spindle Basically bearing. The same as that. Yeah, it's all the same. Well, no, this comes off. Well, this yeah. rotor bolts on from the back. But you can just change the rotor right. on these ones. But you still got to take it apart. Take the spindle off. Most of the Isuzu's and Mazdas are pretty much set up like this. And they're all the same lug pattern too from the 80's and early 90's. They're all six lug like this. Except for Toyota, Mitsubishi, Isuzu, Mazda, Nissan. They're all the same six lug. All the JDM ones anyway. Come on, Karen. I'm supposed to use something, but I can't find out here because I don't know where anything's at. There's a whole toolbox right here. Oh, your toolbox? If my tools were put back where they belong. <laughs> That's obviously Eddie. That's <laughs> obviously Eddie. Blame it all on Eddie. Well, I need to pull it then.
Yep. <laughs> I got a battery pack. <laughs> what size this bowl joint nut is? Long, long. Probably, huh? Here's an 18. Nope! I thought you could measure with your eyes. I did. It's close to me. <laughs> you got anything in here or no? I guess I'll use a socket. Hold on. Let me try the 21 shallow off the impact gun. That'll do it. Huh? You got everything? I got a, a half inch ratchet missing the bolts. Uh oh. <laughs> The wheel should have done that. It's gonna lock. Watch. Damn it! <laughs> Where that the over truck locking? Yeah. Can it even get? Is it even 21? No, bigger than that. No, right? It is 22. Your heads, people. I oh, don't hit the brake, fucking. Okay. I should take some tension off it, maybe. Exactly short that one was really bad. It might be the bushings making the noise, huh? It's pretty on there though. Oh well, we're in it now. Change them out, right? Can't make any worse. Nope. They are they do have blown boots, so technically they're bad, I guess. Right? <laughs> Who goes to a real mechanic? Here comes the rain. Making the roof noise all noisy. I don't even know if this making the roof, roof noisy. noise all noisy. I don't even know. Is this gonna fit? Yeah, it should fit. Woo! Use the Milwaukee so you get all the Milwaukee fanboys. There you go. I like my Ryobis. I don't like being exported to upgrade my entire fleet every three years. I'm good on that. Just the bolts hold it in. That's it. All right. Let's get a wire brush or something.
two wheel drives at least are simple, you know? We got all this other crap in here to worry about. It's like a little South Main Auto. Brake clean. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I guess we're just going to have to cut this shock off. See if we can get that bottom bolt off of there. Is this an upside down can? Probably just end up cutting that anyway. Get the old flex head snap off out here to really give it to them. And click! <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's from the 70s and it's, it's calibrated not, and works. The funny thing is it's, not it's not, I know, but I mean, there's got plenty of guys out there, old stuff. You can get them recalibrated. All right, let's do this shock first, right? Well, we got some room in here. Let's see if we can figure out what size that is. Oh, we got a, a grease, grease thingy, too. Put it in there. Just tighten that up later. It's the cotter pin. The size is this bottom joint. 17 maybe. Way too big. It's even a 17. It's 13 sixteenths. Where the heck does that one go? <laughs> Here it goes. Seventeen. It is, but it's got to be hammered on there. And you guys can't even see what's going on. There you go. Of course it's spinning. Probably. Let's hit it with the impact, see what she'll do. Oh way. That little Ryobi's got some some gusto. Jeez, was it 19 on the other side? It's the every size wrench. <laughs> That's what it is. Now you're turning into Freddy. <laughs> yeah. Freddy's whole toolbox is vice grips.
She's smoky. Steamy. Right? <laughs> it looks cool in the picture, man. It's all like steaming. Smoke coming off of it. Alright. I think we should just cut that top one. Don't be like Justin now. <laughs> Somebody commented, they're like, what happened to Justin's hand? I was like, well, he's being mountain in. <laughs> Is this a waste of time? Yeah, we'll follow inside of the Probably. This is a waste of time. We're cutting it. Something's burning in there. Oh, that's the bolt. Phew. Oh, man. <laughs> that thing's stuck in there. shocks perfectly fine. No wonder this thing feels like a boat. Alright. Well, now one of these days we're going to have to upgrade and get us a new Ford. We got some, we got some brand used shocks out of the Xterra, Sensen. Probably the cheapest ones on Rock Auto. All right. Hopefully these things will cooperate. They're actually four-wheel drive ones, so. Holy, we need a pry bar for these guys. <laughs> Come on. Alright, let's get close. Look how nice that bolt looks though. Right. It's that good grade 8. Or whatever it is. <laughs> it's a grade 8! Yeah. Everything grade 8. Mm -hmm. Even though Max Trick doesn't exist in grade 8. Uh-huh. Metric shouldn't exist anyway. Standard. Max Trick's still in that base. Huh? <laughs> That's the East Coasters over here. Come on, is the sleeve the same size? Should be. Should be. Come on. Come on, you can do it.
should be 14. Sway bar bushings ain't looking too swift. It's that one I should have replaced that top one with a better one. Loaded ish. Stay on there, brake pad.
All right, same on the other side. Cut the shock out, place the ball joint, get them greased up, and then we'll see what else we get into. Yeah. All right, we got a ball joint, we got a new shock on this side, new brake pads. Greased everything except for this one. The grease fitting's completely missing. I don't even have any small ones. But we greased what we could grease. This side's got, I didn't mess with these brake pads because they're still brand new. All right, so ball joint, shock. Greased everything up. All right, we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna try to make like a splash shield here, so every time I hit a puddle, it doesn't wet my alternator out. Now this plastic. Found this uh, fender cover for a golf cart up in the Meslum. The Meslum. I think I'm gonna cut it out of this with my Meslum. With the Meslum. the sharp is any damn good. Nope. There's I'm gonna try to keep this keep this lip here and then somewhere over here I'm gonna have to notch it for where the uh, steering uh, idle arm is. I don't know if you can there we go. Now we gotta cut it out. I should cut this up a little bit more here. All right, it looks like we got. We just take it to here instead. Should be good. And up here we probably should do a little a little bit more to like here.
something like this. Just self tap it through the wheel well here. There we go, something like that. You gotta be perfect. Just gotta block some water. Holding that. I guess we better be careful. There's some uh, there's some lines in there, huh? There's some power steering lines in here, or something. Probably don't want to screw into them. All the way down there right where I want to put it oh there's a bump out right here okay so there's space there and here there's like a bracket that the line goes around so there's void space here I'm just gonna destroy the sharpie and there's one here and the two there. Probably two in here somewhere. Okay. Like right here. Like right here. There's nothing there. Alright. So half an on there. That one don't want to come off.
customer states I just want my oil changed <laughs> this thing is wasted I can't even get it off the stud Jeez. look at this thing Test drive. Steering wheel might be a little bit crooked, but ain't too bad. It does have a bad drag link anyway. The drag link's got some slop in it. Other than that, it feels pretty good. I think it got rid of most of the clunks. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see what else we get into. This is pretty comical. The abuse that this stuff goes through is just crazy, man. Look at this thing.